Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Dave here. Uh, today I'm going to try a different type of painting. Um, I actually forgot to hit record, so you're catching me in the right in the middle of uh, my uh, sketch uh, for this painting. Instead of doing an animal or a bird, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a sign. It's a it's a sign for the restaurant Whataburger. Uh, I saw this image on Instagram on the Road Trippers Instagram account, and I just liked the way it looked, and uh, so I I saved it in my uh, you know in my collection on Instagram, and I, I figured one day I wanted to try painting this. So today I'm going to try it, and I'm painting it on a small little dollar store canvas. So right now I'm just giving a basic. Uh, rough outline of the sketch. This is all going to get probably covered over in paint, but just so I can have a sort of an idea of where everything is going to be going. And I'm using my favorite Delgard mechanical pencil by Zebra. I hope everybody is safe this, uh, and enduring this crazy winter. Another snow ice storm today we're having here in New Jersey. Uh, I know Texas is really hit bad, and uh, I hope that everybody down there is doing well, at least uh, on their way to recovery. Hopefully this is the last hurrah for this goofy winter. I'm going to be using my little pack of golden paints, the little starter pack, with uh, the basic colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying down the background, the sky. Originally it started off a little bit too dark there. I wanted to lighten that up a little bit because uh, uh, in the source image the, it's, the sky is lighter at the bottom of the picture and a little bit darker at the top. And there's a heavy cloud cover on a portion of it as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in and putting in the sky, leaving the, the space where the clouds are going to be pretty much blank so I can go in with a, a little bit of white mixed with a little blue and black to get the illusion of some clouds. There is some dark gray in the clouds so I had to, I did add some, some black in there just to give the give that appearance this particular uh, Wada burger uh, I'm not sure let me see, uh, I think it's in Arizona, this particular sign. Yes, Williams, Arizona, as a matter of fact, on Route 66. Or at least, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's what it says. Williams, Arizona, Route 66. Then they say we like pine country restaurants. So maybe, maybe that Whataburger was changed into a pine country restaurant? I don't know. If you live in Arizona and you know the answer to that, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you if you've ever eaten at a Whataburger, let me know what that's like. Also, I've never I've never tried one, so I've always wanted to try one, but um, and just they don't have them out our way. So uh, let me know what their burgers are like. I love hamburgers. So I went in and I, as you see, I did the trees in the background uh, with a couple different shades of green. Now I'm just 
filling in some white on the sign to give it a fill in the backdrop so it's not a plain canvas. I did edit out the, uh, I used a hair dryer to dry the first coating on here. I used the hair dryer a couple times on this painting just to get the, the base layers dried before I moved on. What's nice about these little canvases is that, is that you can rotate them so uh, you can get them at the most comfortable angle for yourself. Again, this is a dollar store canvas. I got it at Dollar Tree. But now I'm using a, a putty knife just to try to get a uh, you know, st straighter line on that pole. It actually wound up bleeding a little bit over, so I have to go back in a little bit, in a little bit, and uh, tighten that up. Now here I'm going to just uh, hand stencil in the lettering, which really wasn't the best idea. I should have used. Uh, a ruler and stuff like that because I, I did botch the what a on the top burger came out actually pretty good uh, I did notice that I I, I did wind up forgetting the uh, there's a little yellow n913 underneath the word burger that I'm probably gonna have to go in and and uh, add after I'm done doing this voiceover, just because uh, I totally forgot it, totally missed it. I'm just using a very fine brush just to thicken up those letters so they stand out a little bit better. And now I'm going to go in and try to freestyle the hamburger that's on the sign. I'm using my Delgard pencil just to get a, a rough outline of the hamburger so I have an idea of where to paint it. I actually drew it a little bit too small compared to the source image. It should have been a little bit bigger. Well, the lettering though on the Whataburger are very vibrant red. The hamburger itself is kind of muted, like uh, it's been sun bleached a little bit. So uh, yeah, it's not fully rich colored. So I tried to keep things a little bit light. It turned out a little bit darker than the original, but um, I'm happy with how it turned out because it was kind of off the cuff. So now I'm going to go in, the, there's a telephone pole uh, right behind the sign, so I'm going to go in and uh, put that in here now. I 
this was a little bit uh, of a challenge because I, I was doing it by hand. I didn't use any like uh, you know rollers or anything, so I was just trying my best to keep the pole straight. And that's easier said than done. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I, I pulled the canvas a little bit down closer to me while I was painting it, and I wasn't looking at the screen at the at the you know at the monitor, so I didn't notice that I got it so far down. I'm going in with uh, some a little bit of green to just to add some texture into this uh, telephone pole because there is some. It almost looks like mold, but it's not, you know, it's, it's like a greenish looking telephone pole. And uh, I did I did use the hair dryer to, to give that layer a coat. I edited that out also. Uh, but now here I am going in with my pen and I'm using a box from a uh, you know one of those external hard drives that I recently purchased to go in and so I can keep the power lines at least looking straight so I'm using that as my guide and I was really happy with how it turned out there was no way I was gonna try painting it uh, those lines with the with the brush because I'd never get them that straight so I just used a pen. And there you go. That's my Whataburger painting. I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. Here's the original. That's my painting. Uh, thanks for watching.